Hi everyone and welcome back to the sixth part of this bunny rabbit tutorial in coloured pencils. Hope that you're still enjoying this one so far and if you're just joining me now and you haven't been drawing this with me I'll link the first part down below so that you can go and start from the beginning. But other than that everything you need to know is listed in the description and let's just get started. Okay so I'm gonna pretty much just go over this whole body with the buff titanium. Please excuse my fake tan hands today. I've put two coats on instead of one and it's just, it's gone really bad. So pretend that, pretend that that's not there. So I'm gonna use the buff titanium. I'm gonna bring it all the way down the body. Nice and smooth. going to be just a case of like the fur texture now for this bit, all very um, similar sort of movements and patterns and stuff. So I probably won't really need to describe too much in this video. But yeah, I'm bringing it to about there so that you can see it in the frame and I'll bring it down to about there. And I'll do some little hairs, sort of like feathering off the side. There we go. Right, so just going to go straight in with the colour we've been using to map that fur in, which is the nougat. And I think I'll start from, I just feel like starting from this bit, so I'm going to do down here and pretty much just carry on building up the fur texture. So I'm trying to keep it interesting by going in the different directions and keeping my eye on sort of the pattern of the fur in the picture. you're all doing well. I've been drawing a bee for Patreon which has been really fun so far. Doing it for the fundamentals tier so I've been drawing some nice things this week. I'm excited to finish this, I think it'll look really cute. It's getting a lot warmer here in the UK thankfully. I mean not every day is nice and warm but we have some really nice days dotted in between and it's lovely. I'm all about the nice weather. But yeah, if you want to see the bee that I've been drawing, I've been doing uh, some vlogs with like the pro progress of it. Um, so head to my recent vlogs and you'll be able to see it. Actually, I don't even know if I've uploaded that. I don't think I've uploaded the one with the bee yet, but it'll be coming soon if not. Oh, I didn't do any um, brown ochre ten percent. I might just blend a little bit of that through. I thought it looked a bit different. I always do that, but you can just do it afterwards so it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'm just going to blend a bit of that through. It's a little bit more light around here where the light's reflecting off the fur, so I'm not gonna really I'm not gonna do too much around there. There we 
we go. I think I will just do the nougat first and then blend that for a second. So I'm going to carry on with the nougat around here. And the fur sort of like comes down like this. So it just goes in like all sorts of different directions. Don't be afraid to overlap the hose. My brown architempson. Blend that out a bit. And I might start now on this bit up here just to keep it interesting. And then work my way into the middle. direction here. And then bringing it down this bit. The hairs on a rabbit are very like straight if that makes sense rather than sort of like bending round too much they're very like straight but like going in different directions I hope that makes sense Then I'm just gonna sort of leave it a bit lighter where this reflection -y bit is, uh, reflection highlight rather, and just sort of like start from a bit further down. Just trying to leave it a bit lighter. I'm doing them a bit further apart. Then I'll carry on bringing these bits round. It's hard because I have to like twist my arm round to get the perfect positioning. It's a lot easier if you've not got your paper stuck down. You can just sort of like rotate it. Just 
to add in a few more around here to make it a bit denser. And here it kind of like curls around a bit. Right, let's add some brown ochre. Fill it in a little bit more. Again, leaving this bit a tad lighter. And then going from this, this bit here. Can we bring it up a little bit to blend it together a tad? Then carry on. Bringing it through. Right, let's leave it there for now. Turn a bit more down here. Right, now I'm gonna use the burnt umber and go in and just start darkening up that fur a little bit. So I'll start from this bit down here. And just start creating a little bit more depth and interest in that fur. Still doing like all these little hairs like crossing over each other and overlapping. I'm a little pointy sort of like V shapes. And I'll do up here. It's a little bit lighter sort of around here, so I'm not gonna do the strokes as close together as I was down here. Try and leave a bit more like of a gap in the fur. And then, just 
drawing on this bit here. So I'm still kind of leaving this bit lighter. And I'm going to blend a little bit more nougat in there. I'm going to try and bring it together a bit more. just so it so it finishes at the same point as the rest of it. And a little bit more down there. And I think I'm gonna add a bit of Burnt ochre. Around here, I'm just going to blend it in a bit. It's quite orangey. Really lightly, just blending that in. And I'll probably add a bit of that yellow colour in a second too. And then I'm going to use that dark cadmium yellow and just really lightly blend a bit of that through. So I'll leave in this bit a bit lighter but I'm just going to do the odd little fleck running through it just to create a bit of interest and then there's like random little bits through here. Just like little bits here and there. And we definitely need some dark sepia in there now to break it up a little bit. 
add some depth. So just doing the exact same sort of straight crossing over lines that I were doing before. Start adding a bit more depth. I think eventually I'm going to make it a bit darker around here and like do some more shading but for now I'll just build up the texture and then we can always add some darker bits in after. dark a bit in there. Try and make it look a little bit more like clumpy. Just doing the odd bit a little bit darker. And I'm going to carry on. I'm going a little bit down here lightly. Right, yeah, I'm going to start darkening up some little bits throughout here. So I'm sort of just doing my little pointy V shapes and just going through and darkening them up a little bit. I want to create a bit more depth and a bit more of like a clumpy feel to the fur in places. So I'm sort of just doing them in different directions. Create a bit more texture. Pressing on just a tiny bit harder. time with this. And just sort of like look for areas that if it would look best in. So sort of like doing it dispersed evenly, if that makes sense. But still looking nice and natural. So sort of like change directions. some bits at the top
like here there's a bit of a gap so I'm going to do one there. And just blend it out a bit around here. And I'm just going to use the nougat and kind of just go through and anywhere that there's some like really messy looking bits I'm just going to go over it a bit try and smooth it out a tad. Gonna blend a bit more nougat around here. And a bit more through here. And a little bit more around here. The idea is that I'm just leaving like a few lighter hairs in between to try and get that sort of dimension. doing the same sort of thing, adding a little bit more around here. Make it a little bit denser. There's not so much like dark sepia around this bit so I'd rather try and smooth it out a little bit first and then just add a tiny bit on top. Pencil's quite blunt now as well, but it doesn't really matter. I think it still looks nice, it looks soft, so. Just layering and layering it all up. I'm going to add a bit more brown ochre, 10%, just through this bottom bit I've just done. I'm 
Then I'm going to carry on, so I've added a bit more nougat through here. I'm going to try my best to leave some lighter bits for a bit of like the hairs that are catching the light to poke through. So I'm not going to colour the whole thing in. Wow, my hand looks horrific. Right, I'm going to start adding a bit of dark sepia now. It's almost like a purpley tone. I might add a bit more of the sepia 10% from the luminance colours. Just to get that slightly purpley tone that's like around here. It's not doing a whole lot but it just it adds that tone in. Maybe I need something else. Right, gonna add the dark sepia first. Start bringing it round here. I might just go over it with some white at the end to try and get that sort of lighter look to it. But for now, I'll use the dark sepia. Trying to blend it backwards. Might add a bit of the pen's grey because I've got that bluey tone. Blend it in a little bit. Got that Eurovision song stuck in my head, Space Man. We had a Eurovision party last weekend and it was really good. We all dressed as a different country. But it was like our own interpretation of that country and I, I had Belgium so I went as a Smurf. I always get random songs stuck in my head while I'm drawing. Right, I am going to try a bit of the Museum Aquarelle White. I'm just going to like... My voice made a weird noise then. Just going to run it through this bit a tad. Just sort of like adds that pale colour to it. the dark sepia. Carry on bringing it up here. Just 
just doing it quite sparsely, I'm not doing it too full on. Add a little bit more through here, darken it up a tad. But yeah, congratulations to Ukraine for winning Eurovision. I, I didn't watch all of it, but I just watched a little bit of it. It was really good. I never usually watch it. And the UK never do as well as that, so it was nice to see. But yeah, I love, um, I'm just going to back to this bit up here. I love fancy dress. Any opportunity to have a fancy dress party and I'm like, yes, I'm there. burnt umber through this bit here. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more nougat to begin with. I'm going to like blend a bit more through this lighter bit. Try and bring it together a tad. And I'm going to blend some more burnt umber. It needs a bit more brown, a bit more depth. Around here. A bit 
I'm going to put this bottom bit. A uh, bit more dark sepia, I think. I'm just going to do some slightly sort of darker bits that stand out a bit more. Oh, it's coming together a bit now. I feel like I need to sort this bit out. Right, I'm going to add a little bit more burnt ochre. through the whole thing.
Right, I'm gonna add a little bit more nougat. Just filling in any gaps where it looks a bit like, a bit too light. Blend a bit for here and a bit more around here. And a bit more. this bottom bit of the mouth. It's a bit better. Maybe a bit more burnt umber too. Okay, I think I might leave it there for now. And I think we'll probably only have like one or two more bits of this left, so hope once again that you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like if you did subscribe to see more and i shall see you in the next one bye for now